Hi, I'm Swin Cash, and I play for Team USA. Well, Swin, uh, four years on from, from Athens, and here we see you again, uh, kind of in the Olympic setup. What, what's this experience like for you? Oh, this is a great experience. I mean, after uh, going through Athens and winning the gold there and having um, a couple of years of not playing internationally, it's great to get my feet wet here. Um, I play, plan on playing this off-season overseas, so this is a great um, opportunity for me to really kind of show internationally um, that I'm back on the scene. That's brilliant. You know, what's happened uh, in the meantime? Why haven't you been playing as much? Um, I've had opportunities in the United States. Um, obviously, I work with ESPN. I've been an NBA uh, analyst. Um, I had a couple of injuries that I needed to really rehab in the offseason. So um, to be back and to be healthy 100%, um, I'm excited about coming and hopefully playing in EuroLeague and, and uh, playing overseas with all the other UConn greets. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Do you keep in touch with all your friends when they play overseas? Oh, like, yeah. Uh, you know, I was Sue actually texting Sue and Diana and, and everyone before the game here, uh, Jessica Moore. We have a ton of UConn girls that play overseas, and I hear nothing but great stories, so I'm excited about what my, my experience will be like. Um, this is, uh, you know, the United States women have won three consecutive gold medals at an Olympic Games. They obviously didn't win the gold a couple of years ago at the World, FIBA World Championship. Mm -hmm. What, as you see it right now, is the state of play, and what are the chances of this USA team winning a gold? Um, bottom line is it's it's a gold or it's a failure. Um, that's that's the level, um, the ball we raised it that high that every year we want to win a gold. Obviously didn't win it in the world championships. Uh, right now we're going through a training process and it's all about Beijing coming back uh, this summer and winning a gold. Um, tell me what is your most what is your favorite Olympic moment for you individually? Um, I had two. One was the opening ceremonies, to, to be in an arena with that many athletes who are dedicated to their craft and that work and train so hard um, to represent their country was just overwhelming. And the second was standing up on that stage, stage and getting that gold medal around my neck and uh, hearing our national anthem. Uh, that was something that's very memorable because I come from a small town. You know, come from uh, humble beginnings and to be up there representing my country from McKeesport, Pennsylvania, it was awesome.